Welcome to the topic 2 of the series Understanding C Program Execution Environment User Space. In this session, we will be discussing about the mystery of addresses. The addresses that is assigned uh, to the program symbols that is code and data. So in this series, we will be looking into the addresses uh, assigned to the data symbols and in subsequent uh, the further series, we will see how the code also gets its symbols. So straight away, let us uh, look at the code. I have one small piece of code where I have initialized a global variable uh, g underscore var1 to 44 and I am just printing the addresses of this variable. Right, I am now going to build this. I am executing this. I, I got address of G underscore whereas 804A01C. So uh, here, uh, what I see is the g underscore var1 is uh, associated to the address 804a01c now what i'll do is i'll keep on executing this application this is when story turns interesting i see always i'm getting the same address is the kernel uh, allocating the same memory for the application could be possible now what I'll do is I'll open one more application called a dot C exactly the same application with the changes change in the variables. G underscore var one initialized to 64. I'm just printing the address exactly what I had done the earlier way. App two dot C when I execute this, I see address of G underscore var1 is, oh my God, it's the same address. Oh, is the kernel very fascinated about this address to get the same memory address? Okay, let's look. Will the kernel assign any other address? What we will do is we will just uh, make this program active in the memory when I say active it can be executed or it can be waiting for execution so that means uh, I'm ensuring that kernel will allocate memory and not release it right my assumption is as long as program is active in the memory kernel cannot deallocate the memory that's the sim with that simple understanding I am going to execute this app one. Oh, sorry to compile. I'm compiling app one. So now it's uh, active in the memory waiting for uh, execution. Now the same thing I am going to do here going to add get care. Now I'm going to compile and link this execute dot slash app two. Oh, it's interesting both the applications are active in the memory and both are having the same address this is really a mystery where can the kernel do this allocate same memory address for both the applications which are active okay let us see how this can be represented so initially app1 was trying to fetch this uh, value from this address, right? App2 was also trying to do the same thing. Is this possible? See here, both are housing their value at this address, both applications are housing the value 44 and 64 respectively at this address and is this ever possible okay now we need to analyze something is there for us to analyze now 
Now, let us see who are the characters involved in transforming the C file into executable and then you know, transforming that to a uh, to a state where the contents or the code is getting executed or I would use a term called process which I am not ex ex which, I, which I will be explaining later. So ultimately the C file has to get transformed in, into something for executed and who are the characters involved. So uh, the first character will be the compiler who is transforming the C file into dot o file or relocatable object file right and then comes the linker who will transform this uh, uh, compiled object file dot o to executable object file here we have app 1 and app 2 then comes the kernel who will transform on user initiation transforms the executable which can be executed to a process ultimately uh, which will allow the code to get executed, right? One among these should have given the address to the data symbol, right? Okay, uh, we will experiment now. So, is there any tool for us to reveal this mystery? Yes, the well-known, which we have already used in our earlier video. Here you go that is none other than radial f okay now let us have a look at this now again i'll do redo things gcc minus c app one dot c so now the output what i get is app one dot o now i would like to do a read elf okay app one dot o will contain apart from machine code of uh, app1.c contains the function information uh, at least uh, uh, the previous video we saw it would have a symbol table where I could see a function name apart from that it also contains the address if it is there let us see uh, app1.o okay the, of course the symbol names are there the function name the variable name and we don't have anything here it shows zero uh, the column heading says it is value it is again a misnomer it is an address what you will have here right okay let us go to the next step compiler no we can uh, isolate the compiler which is not giving the address next app1 app1 dot o right now what we get is app1 right Okay, let us do the same thing. Radial F minus S app 1. Do we find a symbol called G underscore var 1? Yes, we have a symbol here and the corresponding address. What we were seeing at the execution of printf is what is here. Okay it looks like it is the linker who is associating an address or giving an address to the symbol obviously will it be the same thing here let us check out again um, we have ruled out the possibility of the compiler but uh, as a ritual we can go ahead with that and we see that g underscore val2 it is a zero okay quickly we will uh, link this uh, app1 okay app2 app2 dot o so we if we can continue the same thing here enter we will see okay are we seeing the symbol g underscore var2 yes we found that and oh it's also in the same address okay without uh, asking more questions we can just conclude for this session that it is the linker who is assigning the address right now here of this episode obviously it is the linker who is doing who is doing things for you 
strings in the sense giving their address to the program symbols which is seen when printing those symbols that is more interesting next thing is assigns address to the program symbols which can never be a memory address because linker is a build time concern he has no say over the memory right then what is this address why linker assigns address to the program what is this address what is the name of the address when is memory allocated for the program there's a typo here pardon me for that when is memory allocated for the program can the programmer see memory address all these things we will be discussing in the further classes further sessions thank you for now stay tuned to get the answers for these questions in the coming videos thank you